Funding for NJN News is provided. There's more to come on NJN News, a legal ruling in the Meadowlands Xanadu project, and how local scientists are digging for clues about a past global catastrophe. Geologists have been busy drilling holes in various New Jersey sites to bring up fresh evidence of the end of the dinosaurs era. The National Science Foundation is funding this Rutgers-led project to acquire and study drill cores, representing a continuous record of that period. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. In just under two weeks, a team including drillers, university professors, and members of both the United States and New Jersey Geological Surveys worked eight different sites, hosted by farm owners, industrial operations, and Fort Monmouth. What the sites have in common is that they lie along a geologic outcrop belt where the so-called Cretaceous-Paleogene contact, more widely known as the Cretaceous-Tertiary, or KT, boundary, is easily accessible. Around 40 feet under this peaceful horse farm, there are signs of a very different world and a record of mass extinction. What lies underfoot here was offshore, part of the continental shelf. It's a margin that uh, uh, over several, you know, 100 million years received marine deposition sediment. And subsequently to that formation, the, uh, the whole area was uplifted. That's why we can see it now. And what they expect to see is hard evidence of environmental conditions before, during, and after the events that wiped out dinosaurs and many other species around 65 and a half million years ago, setting the stage for the age of mammals. Now, to explain an event of that magnitude, you really need some global catastrophe, something that affected giant dinosaurs on land and tiny little microscopic plankton in the oceans. And one of the leading contenders for this explanation is the impact of a large asteroid. So it's a test of the hypothesis. Every time the drillers extracted a section of core, experts crowded around to look for tiny fossils and telltale changes in composition that could signal the transition. We've seen a change from the, the five feet above to this five-foot section here. So somewhere we've had a very big lithologic change, and that could be a very significant boundary. The layer they're homing in on has been associated at around a hundred sites around the world with a rare metal called iridium thought to have been delivered to Earth by an asteroid. That's one target for further study. We're looking to do good science here by seeing whether we can falsify or verify um, the uh, relationship of the extinctions to the iridium level. The drilling program, phase one of the larger project, is expected to be complete after one more day in the field. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Upper Freehold Township.